So I figured I'd uh, make a video um, showing you guys how I wired up uh, the Terminator X ECU. Uh, I mounted it in the glove box with the uh, MSD solid state relay. Um, you can use other relays that are cheaper. Uh, this just seems to be, it seems to work really well. I had it in my RX-7, so I'm gonna do it in this car too. Um, it just made things easier. As far as the wiring, I still have some stuff I have to tuck and uh, I have to run the wires for the gauges. Um, but you can kind of see where I made the hole in the firewall. I have to seal that up. Uh, I got a uh, Earl's um, stretchy grommet thing that I'm gonna run everything through. And um, I did run the battery to the trunk this is where all the wires come from the front and they go to the battery which is located back here now i got this terminal at autozone it's got it's uh, pretty nice uh you can hook up all your positives to one thing and it doesn't look all you know chintzy um don't mind the black wire i had a bunch of it left over from the rx7 build and instead of buying red wire i used the black one and i'm going to mark this so people or alex will know that it is positive so um let me show you the other wiring uh under the dash so this is how i'm turning on the ecu itself um i just ran a toggle switch so that's gonna be my 12 volt ignition on to turn the computer on and um and then as far as turning the actual vehicle on, um, you need the key on for the starter. So um, there is a lot of uh, not a clear information about how to do it. Um, I tried to use the uh, factory relays and I could not figure it out. So I went searching with my probe and I found this blue wire with a white stripe. Uh, so. Uh, that is an ignition on uh, 12 volt source, a uh, continuous. So what I did is I just ran a wire just to see if it would crank the starter and it cranks the motor, no problem. So uh, that's gonna be tightened up and uh, joined properly. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna leave it like that. But um, if you are looking to wire up your car really easily, this is a 2010, uh, I'm not sure uh, what the other models are, but it's a blue wire with a white stripe. That will be your 12 volt ignition source uh, for continuous cranking. Moving on to the gauges. Um, they're just kind of sitting in there. They're not really, but you can kind of, you know, get an idea of what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look pretty good. I like the way they fit. Um, when you are cutting through the uh, plastic to fit these, if you do decide to go this route, drill a pilot hole in the middle of the actual plastic, and then you need a four inch um, hole saw, and you cut on the back of the plastic in reverse. So you're kind of like burning the plastic off, not really cutting it. And uh, it, if you do it the other way, the teeth are just gonna rip the plastic to shreds. So you have to do it in reverse, and you should get a nice hole. Um, then you're gonna have to take a Dremel and from there, uh, just you know, take out another eighth of an inch, and you'll 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 be in good shape, and these things will drop right in. Also, I'm going to figure out how to mount the Terminator X LCD screen right there, um, so he can have oil pressure, water temp, and all the other stuff. The only thing I got to figure out is the fuel gauge. That's the last of my worries. I might even just let him do it, so uh, <laughs> um, because. Uh, you know, I'm running out of time. And uh, yeah, so Alex, you may be doing your own fuel uh, fuel gauge. Just make sure you top it off every time you go on a big trip if you don't put one in. Let me show you uh, the, powering steering, the power steering setup I have. Okay guys, so if you are doing a Ellis swap out of a, sorry, it's a little windy out of a uh, S197 Mustang 2006 to 2010, um, keep this in mind. Get a high mount radiator either on this side or 
and get something that fits over there. But the reason is because I, I initially purchased a ICT billet um, uh, alternator bracket, but I didn't have any power steering lines hooked up. And so once I got uh, some uh, fittings uh, brazed on to the existing power, power steering hard line so I could hook up uh, the electric power steering pump from Evolvo, um, it was hitting the alternator bracket, so I cannot get these things on. So I had to switch to the high mount, which solved the issue. So as far as the Volvo power steering pump that you should use, because there's two of them. There is a remote reservoir, which I, you know, I just kind of put that there, but that's how kind of how I ran it. And this is the one you need to get. There's one that you also put, uh, has a cap on directly on top so instead of a hose that goes up you have a cap right here and then you fill it directly the problem is if you put it in this location which i feel like this is the best location because i try to put this thing everywhere um you won't be able to fill it so or refill it if you need to so the, re the remote reservoir one right there that's the one to get anyways so when you do this, like I said, I tried a bunch of different uh, places to put the, um, the actual pump and it's just kind of big and awkward. I contemplating, contemplated putting it right there, but um, I ended up going with this. So you have a bolt right there you can put in the chassis. And this is the stock, um, I still have to tighten this down. This is the stock uh, Volvo power steering pump bracket that attaches to the uh, Volvo itself. And then you cut this piece off right here and then you put another bolt through the, the chassis, this piece right here, and it's secure. It clears the tires. Um, so yeah, um, as far as getting this thing uh, wired up, super easy you have a 12 volt ignition and i'll show you so if you go up i just ran that down over here over to this fuse box and i ran the line off that so that will that's my 12 volt ignition and then i ran a wire to a breaker and then the breaker uh i ran a wire down to the actual power steering pump so there's a big plug and a small plug the small plug you just need one wire um i forget which wire it is but uh it's really easy to figure out um but yeah so you have a ground so you just ground it with the big one and then you run a uh, power to your power source and i ran it to a breaker um 80 amp breaker so you can get this thing on amazon but yeah, that's how I ran my power steering for the uh, S197 Mustang.